Hi everyone, Melissa here. Today I'm going to be doing my ruby nails for July. And um, this is my birth month and this is my birthstone. So I'm going to be doing uh, ruby design on all of the nails and going all out. This is one of those designs where I'm not exactly sure <laughs> if I'm gonna love the result, um, but I'm just diving in. So, uh, here we go, and I'm, I'm hoping to have fun, and I hope it turns out beautiful, so we'll see. I really want to do Ruby Justice, so let's hope. So for this design, I'm primarily going to be using Builder Gel. I have the Double Dip Builder Gel, the Easy Flow here. I'm going to be using the jarred version, which it doesn't sell anymore, um, simply because it, it takes a long time to get larger amounts of Builder Gel out of the bottle, so... I'm using this. Um, I have already put Builder Gel into both of these spoons that I'm going to be working with just for time saving sake. So I already have that sitting there waiting. I'm also going to be using Revel Supreme um, for a red chrome effect. Probably maybe a little bit of Crimson Vixen mixed in there. Um, there's some uh, Golden Ticket from Double Dip just for some gold foil accent parts. And we'll see. So um, uh, how I'm gonna start, so far I have my Builder Gel down, I have a layer of gel, no wipe top coat, and two layers of peel base as always. Now I'm going to be doing a chrome layer over all of the nails as the base. So I'm gonna be using my no wipe top coat from Double Dip to do this, and I'm just gonna put that on straight over the peel base. Now if you aren't using peel base, you would wanna use a gel base under this as well just to make sure that you don't have really quick peeling with this, um, have the gel top coat peel up. But seeing as I have peel base on, I'm not too concerned about the peeling up, so I'm not gonna be doing it that way. So I'm just gonna be doing a thin layer of the gel top on all of these nails, and then I'm gonna get that Revel Chrome just a layer on, and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just a base layer. I don't need that perfect clean chrome effect. I just need it to be there in case anything shows through. Okay, so I've cured this for about 30 seconds so that I have a nice chromable surface. I'm just gonna be using a little um, applicator here and I'm actually just gonna get the chrome that's in the lid because I really don't want the glitters. The glitters in these tend to get stuck in with the chrome. I'm just gonna rub that on these nails Okay, now I have that quick, rough chrome layer down. Uh, we're gonna start working on what's going over the top. So for this design, we're gonna be using um, some plastic wrap to work with the Builder Gel. I like doing this technique, it's a lot of fun. I know a lot of people have seen um, this technique on Instagram or on YouTube, and it's just a, a lot of fun to work with, and I feel like it creates a really great gem effect for the ruby, so. That's going to be what I'm going for today. So I'm going to be mixing a little bit of uh, red into here. I'm, I like to use um, the alcohol ink markers to add color to these just because it doesn't thicken it. So we're going to be doing some um, coloring with the alcohol ink marker. Just take the little uh, blunt end here and just kind of dab it on. It doesn't really stick to it or get any builder gel on there. It just kind of dabs ink down and then you're it still works great. I'm gonna use just a little a little dotting tool or something here just to mix this around. It is going to go kind of pinky just because we aren't adding a whole lot with the alcohol ink, but I'm just wanting to make it so I don't have to add too much powder to it and thicken it up too much. I'm gonna be adding Crimson Vixen in here as well. Um, and I'm going to do just a little bit of the chrome from this. I'm going to try and get some of that mixed in there just so it has a slight chrome effect. Really, I'm just kind of make, putting a bunch of stuff in here. I mean, put what you have to give the color that you want if you plan on doing this. Just kind of dabbing some of the chrome down here. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm gonna use my flat gel brush here. I'm a mess, I apologize for that. It's just how my life goes when I do this kind of stuff. Um, yes, using the flat brush, and I'm gonna get a little piece of the plastic wrap here and break that off. I'll do a different piece for each nail just so you don't get too smushed up or contaminated with the gels. I'm just gonna put that here. And I'm going to get a bit here and I'm gonna put a thin layer down. I don't want a really thick layer. I'm not trying to build out huge here. Don't want my nail to get too thick. Let's see. Start here. And I'm gonna try and make sure that I get all around the edges properly. But I don't want to get thick on the sides because pushing the plastic wrap on there will push some gel out to the sides that will have to be filed down. But I don't want this to, I just don't want to cover the whole nail. And then I'm going to put the plastic wrap just flat down on here on the nail. We're going to use the water marbling, marbling tool to give it some texture. I don't want the texture to get too three dimensional. I don't want to stick up too much. But I want it to have some nice uh, lines and bumps in there. They are going to want to start to flatten out on their own, which can be a little bit frustrating because you want those, those sharp lines, the sharp edges. So I try and make sure to push it up so that you can see it's kind of staying where you want it to be instead of pushing away, flattening out. This is a self-leveling builder gel. The tendency to do that which can be kind of frustrating. I actually have the top part of my lamp separated from the base and I'm going to push this where I want it make sure that I can see it still has those ridges and then I'm just gonna lift the top part of my lamp up here to start curing it in place where I am if I can. We're gonna give it a full 60 second cure. We can pull the, here we go, so we have that nice kind of, I don't even really know what to call it, ridgy finish. I am going to take my uh, cuticle nippers here, and if there are parts that are sticking up too much, I'm going to kind of clip them off a little, just because I don't want there to be parts that stick up too high above the next layer that I'm going to be putting on. So make sure that nothing is sticking off of the side too much. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of them. Okay, once you have that texture finished on all the nails, I'm going to, and also make sure that you don't have anything sticking out too far from the nail because we're basically going to be encapsulating all of this texture with more builder gel. We can do the next part, which is going to be putting more of this uh, chrome on here. So I'm going to be using this little jar that I have of Rebel Supreme again. I'm just trying to take the chrome powder that's either on the lid or on the walls here and rub that into this as much as I can. I especially want to get it onto the raised portion of the texture and really kind of cover that well, as well as I can. I'm going to be using a little um, applicator here. Just in fresh one. The other one got covered in builder gel. I'm be using the smaller end so that I can get into little nooks and crannies if possible. Alright, so that is done as well as I could do with the product that I had. Um, next, 
next step will be working with this second spoon that I have out for builder gel. Now for this, I'm going to try and make kind of a really sheer black. Uh, I don't have a black gel polish. I wish I did because that would work best for this. You don't want to use a black dip powder because the clear base that's in there will add kind of a cloudiness and a graininess to this that we don't we don't want. We want to be able to see the texture underneath. So I'm just going to be using regular, regular black um, nail polish and mixing that in there and hope for the best. It worked fine on my swatch that uh, practice swatch that I did. So here's hoping the same will be true for this. So I'm just gonna do a drop in there to start so I can see what kind of uh, color we get. And I'm just going to get some uh, with the brush and try and fully encapsulate the texture with this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead with my nail pointing downwards, gonna cure for 60 seconds to get that in place. Okay, so now that top layer has been put on, we're gonna do some filing, but first we're gonna wipe the tacky layer off here with some alcohol. Okay, now I have the um, shapes and the filing um, I'm pretty happy with. Probably could sit here all day continuing to go over different spots where I feel like the darker gel is just a little too concentrated, but um, I'm not in the mood to do that. So we're going to put gel base, uh, gel base coat on all these nails. I'm going to make sure that they're nicely wiped down, that there's not a whole lot of, uh... Sorry, that there isn't a whole lot of dust and stuff from filing on these. And I'm going to put a gel base on all of these. So I can kind of get an idea of how they look um, as a finished product before I decide if I want to or where I want to place foil on these. Okay, so I think I am gonna put some foil down. Don't have any rhyme or reason in mind as far as where they'll go, um, but I'm gonna be using this foil. I, I have not cured the gel base that was on my nails. I'm going to use that um, to place the foil down. So I'm just gonna like kind of dab this in here so that I have a little bit of gel on the tip so that the foils will kind of stick. I'm gonna use it to I'm in here to grab some oils. Where do I want to go? Just go over here. Okay, and finally I'm just gonna top with a uh, no wipe gel top coat to finish this off. Since we're all gel, may as well stick with gel. Here is the finished ruby design. Uh, I really hope that the rest of my July babies um, feel like I did this one justice. I I really uh, wanted to capture the feel of the ruby in this one. So, um, as always, thank you for joining me, and I hope you really enjoyed this design. And let me know below, and I'll see you next time.